Okay, so let's start the gear tour with the desk. So, and I, don't, I don't think this will really be that impressive to people. I don't have like the coolest gear in the world. But um, to start off with, what a lot of the editing is done on is this 21.5 inch Mac, I mean iMac. And let me open this up here. I saw you guys trying to look at my password. So I'm not sure if the screen's going to be all weird and warbly. You know how you, when you record a computer screen, it can mess with it sometimes. But um, this is just the Mac. You know, if you're a total nerd like me um, and you want to see the specs of it, um, this is not a stock one. I'm not sure what the stock ones have exactly. Um, I bumped it up to a 3.1 gigahertz instead of, I'm not sure what the standard one comes with. And it does have the 16 gigabytes of memory. And let's see, um, the graphics card, I wish I would have upgraded it, but I didn't. So that needs to change. Hopefully I can still upgrade it if possible. So aside from that, like I said, a lot of the editing is done on here with this. <laughs> I'm going to see half the room's painted. Um, and then over here is just a, an absolute stock 15 inch, uh, 2 gigahertz MacBook Pro with the, I don't even know how to open it. There we go. With the spec um, clear invisible case on it. This one goes to work with me a lot of times. And then, I guess for gear, this is, see how dirty the iPad screen is? Check that out. That is one dirty screen. But this is actually I, probably my most used device because I take this with me to work if I need to look up um, tabs for something or look up songs. This is a very useful tool for a musician. It's not huge. I don't like the, the bigger iPads, but man, maybe eventually I wanted an iPad Air. But my wife's probably shaking her head right now. But um, then this is, check this old one out, an iPad, what are these called, Shuffle or Nano? I don't know, I literally haven't put music on this thing in probably five or six years, so very old. Square, this is kind of useful if you're a guitar player um, and you do lessons and stuff, that way if you know they only have a credit card, you can still take your payment and not have to wait for it. Positive Grid plug-in, and a little adapter which was jerk move from Apple, but if you have the iPhone 5 or 5S, I'm sure you have one of these. Um, another little micro SD card, which I can't use, and actually I gave it to my mom, I need to give it to her. 32 gigabytes. Um, let's see, pens, smart cloth for cleaning any of your iOS device screens. Here's the condenser mic, and a lot of people ask me what I use for an interface, and this actually doubles as an interface, believe it or not. So I think it's kind of cool because it does really good with voice recording. If I'd ever want to do like voice overdubs, maybe I'll do something like that one day. But it also acts as an interface. So you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's really cool. And it's a Samsung G-Track. This is something new that Carl Martin just sent me. And I have to do a video on it. But my 9-volt adapter. Right? Now this one does not use batteries. It only works with a 9-volt adapter. So it's a cool paddle. And um, I'm excited to hear it. I haven't even got to hear it yet. So that's it for the desk. All in, you know, lens wipes. Lens wipes. And this is kind of like my to-do list table, if you want to call it that. Um, it's just swapping out new light fixtures and fixing, fixing the one that was broken. So over here, you have lots of cables, guitar cleaners, Zach Wild wah pedal, um, more finger ease. More just like guitar junk. It's kind of like a junk drawer, to be honest, and cleaning cloths. Um, that's all my tax information. And then here's a full of pedals. I can't get it open. The TOD pedal. I think there's a DS1. There's a Zach Wad Wad, which actually has an original Crybaby in it. I don't have a lot of pedals. So, um, camera bag. What is that? A uh, tripod bag. Backdrop, which this is actually just the plain white sheet, you know. You don't have to always spend a lot of money to get stuff that works. And if you have a lighting kit, so you can get a pretty good white out of it. Not so wrinkled. Normally I have it fixed tighter. Uh, there's one light, two lights. The boom light is actually in there, in my closet. Now this is the Mustang 3. This is the amp a lot of you guys ask me about. I've never done a demo on this. I need to do one. They're kind of outdated now because I think they're coming out with new ones, but um, this is, like I said, the Mustang 3. Here's some cables I got, which are awesome. They have the lures and that. Here it is. This little part here, when you unplug your guitar, this pops out, and it gives you no feedback. So, 
cool little cord, um, and they actually sound a lot better than normal cords. I've kind of like tested them out, and I like the way that they sound. Here is the camera. Like I said, the literally half of the room is painted, and the other half is not. And you want to see where, this is why you don't put duct tape on walls to hold something up. So, I had to spackle those. But this room's not going to be, it's going to be literally painted two different colors, is why it's like that right now. So, um, here is the camera that a lot of you guys ask me about. It's the Canon T3i. This is where it was sitting a minute ago. There's your view of me. And um, it's nice. Like I said, I, I want to upgrade it to the T5i, or if they come with a newer one, probably that one. Because I really want to have a UHS capabilities, which is ultra high speed. So, and here's some guitars, the gold Charvel, the American Strat. This is like my first real guitar. A very, very cheap Squire bass. I think I paid like 80 bucks for that or something. I don't know. I got it from Metronome, so they gave me a good deal. Um, and there's the, you know, tripod. People don't think much about tripods being important important but i've had three or four of them over the years and this one from targus is okay my phone shut off because it ran out of memory i have a lot of videos on here but um anyways those are the guitars there's another one in here that i don't know if i'll be able to get it out or not you should wait until you see the closet this is like an all-out tour of this room so here is one crate of guitar magazines and just instructional books that i've gotten over the year i think i have about five or six of these and i also have a giant box full of magazines so Trust me, I have plenty of guitar magazines, Converse box that so needs thrown away. Now this is really cool. Uh, my wife actually got this at a music festival. If you know the band Acoustic Hookah, Sweeney's a killer guitar player. I don't know how many Led Zeppelin songs are in this one, but it has like hundreds of Led Zeppelin songs. And it, this dude hand drew this, all of it. It's really cool. I can't wait to hang it up when the room gets finished. Um, no quarter. You know, you, just, you look through it and you see all kinds of them. It's so funny. There's a hot dog, uh, black dog, uh, let's see, Misty Mountain Hop. Just It just goes on and on and on and on. There's those, so you can see them all. Man, it just, it's really cool. But that will stay here for now because I don't want it to get broken. Maybe that's what that, oh, as I hit it on stuff. Nice, right? Gabby, don't watch this video. <laughs> And so that's that. Let's kind of move this stuff out of the way. You guys can get the full effect. Sorry this video is so long. I knew once I got talking you wouldn't be able to shut me up. So do you guys see why I just record straight guitar videos now? So this is the closet, the messiest thing in the world. It needs cleaned out. And maybe eventually one day it will be, but not today. So boom, green screen, different backdrops. The official mascot of here, Jerry Garcia doll. Seinfeld Trivia, uh, the Rebel for my Canon box. I keep all my boxes. Um, you know, I don't know why. Uh, my lens, the lens I use is just the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, and then I also use a 50 millimeter prime lens, which is very nice if you're looking for a, a cheap, useful lens. Um, and here, more lighting kit. Here's the boom, boom light stuff that needs put together, which I haven't got a chance to. Our old PC computer. Um, all the Apple boxes. There's too many iPad boxes to even count. Um, extreme DVDs. So here's the box I was talking about. This is full of guitar instructional um, DVDs. And there's another one that's even bigger than this one, full of guitar magazines. And these are light bulbs. That's to a Wii all kinds of stuff and more just lighting kit and then I don't think, don't think I'll be able to get the guitar out because this video is taking so long there's a djembe and in here is actually a Fender American Stratocaster VG if you don't know what those are look them up I don't want to blab about what it is but it's really really cool so that's the closet there's my side bag which totes around all the junk with me everywhere this is what I sit on you know some people did ask me like, what are you sitting on in your videos and it's this old cajon so if you know what a cajon is, you basically sit on it and you, know, you can get different sound. So I'm ready to rock at any given moment, just sitting there. But I think that'll probably be it for the gear tour of the room. Not real in depth. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more in the tech talk videos about making videos and whatnot. But hope you enjoyed the videos. 
Sorry it was so long. Sorry I just said the word video so many times. And I will see you guys with the...